Hi everyone, my name is Parul. Welcome back to our channel for women in India. And today we will be talking about Kalpana Saroj, who was an Indian entrepreneur. She was born into a Dalit family in Vidarbha, Maharashtra. She faced a lot of discrimination due to her caste. She was treated as an untouchable. Other children's parents would not let them play with her or share food with her. In school, she was made to sit away from other students. In class 7, she was forced to drop out of school and get married to a man 10 years older than her. She had to live in a slum with her new husband and his family of 12 to 15 members, all of whom lived under the same roof. As a new bride and a child bride, she was brutally abused physically and emotionally. They would overwork her, starve her, hit her, kick and punch her. When her father learnt of the abuse she was being subjected to in her marital home, he brought her back to her home. But this was not the ending of her suffering. When she came back to her home, she was shamed for leaving her marital home and coming back. She could not find jobs as she did not meet educational requirements having dropped out in class 7. She could not go back to school as she could not leave the house without being humiliated for leaving her marital home and coming back. She picked up tailoring and started to make a living by sewing blouses. She attempted suicide by drinking poison but survived. She moved to Mumbai and worked at a garment factory and started stitching to make some extra money. This was the first time she saw a rupees hundred note. Her father lost his job and she was the only one supporting her family of seven. Her youngest sister fell ill and Kalpana started working 16 hours a day to pay for her treatments. Unfortunately, this was not enough and her sister passed away just at 17. She obtained a loan through a government scheme and used the money to start a small furniture business all while practicing tailoring. She acquired some land through great difficulty and found an investor with whom she set up a business. She also started an NGO now called Kalpana Saroj Foundation to spread information about loans for people who come from backward classes so that they could also use it to start businesses like her. Her growing success in the construction business led to a contract hit man being hired to kill her. Fortunately, there was no real attempt to murder her and she carried on. There were a total of three such hitman contracts against her. In 2000, she was approached to revive Kamani Tubes, a company that was in great debt and about to enter liquidation. For six years, she toiled in the process of getting the company back on its feet and in 2006, she became the chairman. She cleared all the debts and liabilities within a year. She is now the CEO of Kamani Tubes, which has a turnover of Rs 11.2 crore annually. She is a recipient of prestigious Padma Shri Award for Trade and Industry. She has been appointed to the Board of Directors by Bharati Mahila Bank by the Government of India, even though she has no background in banking. She has represented India internationally at various conferences such as International Dalit Conference, World Peace Conference, etc. She often goes back to her village in Akola to invest there to create jobs for other youngsters so that they can too come up as she did. Her success story is a testimony to her words, Ivy League degrees and fancy MBAs are not what makes an entrepreneur. Grit, determination and a superhuman ability to have faith in yourself does. And that's it for today guys. If you like the video and if you found it informational, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching the video. Like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon to never miss an update.